Hey guys, it's Dusty Baker, Cross Timbers Bison. I hope you guys have enjoyed watching us work our bison. I'm here at our farm uh, working them. It's so nice to be able to work them. We didn't get all of them worked, as you guys know. What I've got today is I've got Dakota and Bell Star, our two cows that we didn't get worked last time. You saw me riding around like a crazy idiot on the uh, ATV trying to round them up. That doesn't work all the time. I couldn't uh, force them in here. It, they're bison. I mean, you can barely do that with even cattle sometimes, but they just didn't want to come in. But today, just like a, a, a regular day, I came up here to feed. Kevin's been feeding them, and he's been telling me that Bell Star and, and Dakota have been coming in here, but coming in our, our main lot here, main corral. And sure enough, I came to feed this morning, and there they were. They just came right in to the feed, and and so I fed them and I shut the main gate. Now I just have to sort out. It looks like Dunbar is in here. We've got Peaches is in here. And of course the Queen Bee, which is Quapaw. We've got to get them out of here because they're kind of, she's a, she's, she's a tough one right there. Yeah, she's, she'll push them around pretty quick. So I've got to sort them out, get them out of here. And then Kevin and I are going to work dakota and bell star and get um we're gonna give them warmer like we did last time and then we're gonna give them something called triangle 10. winter time can be hard on these animals i really probably hadn't talked about that much but winter time it's kind of a day like this it's cold it's dreary it, if it's wet if we have a wet winter we don't have a lot of snow in southern oklahoma but if we have a wet winter it can be really hard on these animals so that's why we have to vaccinate them in the fall and then in the spring, when they hit the green grass, it starts over again. Uh, you're getting different worms, you're getting different parasites that are going on as, the, as uh, the ground starts to heat up and the grass starts to grow. So that's why we try to mix our wormers up and, and our injections. They're not roaming around like they were, you know, hundreds of years ago where there, where there were thousands and millions of them roaming around. They didn't have to have wormer. The wolves and the bears got the weak and the strong survived. We have to try to do our best to take care of these animals and that's why we do that. Um, I did leave out some footage last time. I know a lot of you are kind of upset at me or, or asking me why didn't I put Dunbar's uh, knocking off the crash gate. My previous videos of us working our bison. Well guys, I was just kind of embarrassed about it, to be honest with you. And uh, I, I, I'm just gonna let Daniel show it, but um, you know, you gotta show the goods and you gotta show the bad. So I'm gonna show it to you. I think I got a couple, uh, I, I found some good footage of it, um, of it coming off, but, and you're probably wondering why did it come off? Well, one, either I'm not a very good welder, um, two, uh, he's really strong, which probably both of those are true, to be honest with you, but um, that's all right. So uh, we had to do a little bit of reinforcements after that. I make sure and I welded it extra, extra good this time. Uh, in the middle of working them, we had to stop and do it once Dunbar actually uh, knocked the head gate off. We had to, I had to weld it back up and, and start over. So it didn't take me very long. I'd done it before lesson learned noted on that dunbar is strong too and you get a bull like him uh he's not as big as big joe but you get a big stout animal like him and he bounces around in it and shakes a little bit it, it doesn't take much but i think we got it down this time but i'm going to show you that footage too at the end of this video these three right here need to get out and I've got to keep those two right there. Got Bell Star and Dakota. I really have to get Dakota in there. Um, she's a great cow. Remember, last year she didn't have a calf. Or sorry, it'd be this year she didn't have a calf because she was sick last summer towards the end of the fall. And But man, she's come a long way and she looks tremendous now. Um, and then Bell Star, she had her first heifer this year. And so I got to get them warmed and take care of.
case you guys want to know what crazy stressed out bison look like right here nose bleeding a lot of panning there's a reason why we couldn't get uh dakota caught because you can tell look at all this behavior she is stressing out she's our craziest for sure she's one of the cows that we got from the qualpaw nation several years ago they had our first two babies but she is stressed out and i don't know this is how it goes sometimes bell stars normally not so crazy she's pretty calm but they're getting all worked up she's getting worked up because of dakota there so i'm just going to get away from them and let them calm down for now i'm gonna give them some feed see if they'll calm down some running herself ragged as we're gonna work these two right here. We're gonna work Dakota and Bellstar. Now that I got them separated, um, Kevin and I are gonna just work them. You got two of them, uh, us two can just handle it for, for now and then, and then we're gonna work Big Joe later. I also want to just let you guys know, you notice whenever we work the bison here at our place, it's very difficult for me to actually talk. Um, anytime you work these bison or if I'm traveling and working bison, especially here, it is a very high intense, um, high stress place, not only for me, uh, the people with me, my wife, Kevin, Boone, um, and these animals, of course, it's a very high stress activity for sure. Um, I know some of you even get worked up by watching some of my videos when we work them. Uh, so if I don't talk during it, I apologize. That's why I have to do stuff before. 
and at the end um i'm trying to do better about it i may start mounting a gopro to my chest and, and you can hear me talk and and all sorts of those things but um i'll try to explain the best to you that i can i just can't do it when i'm working these animals because uh, I, i've got to keep my focus on them i gotta keep my focus on the people working with us and i want to keep those animals safe and we want to keep their stress level as low as possible when we work the bison so I'm sorry if I don't talk during the video, that's why, because I am stressed out. And when you get done working these animals, and I know a lot of bison people can answer this or, or, or any type of like, a, even when you work cattle, the people understand that it is so stressful because you want to take care of those animals and you want them to be safe and nobody get hurt and no animals get hurt. You're just dead tired when you're done. You're so tired because of the stress that that you go through so um anyways I, I like showing this to you and i hope that you enjoy what you see and um enjoy this right here is that as high as it gets yeah it's on his neck yeah okay here. Here, 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 here. don't break my needle So here are some welds welded to it. There's three main welds. Then we had to take the crash gate here and put on the new head gate, which worked great. And hopefully uh, that was a positive for sure. Um, so <sighs> problem was when I was welding to the actual head gate, it's painted. As you can tell, this is, I just painted this myself and some of this metal came like that, but this is a thick coat of paint on this head gate and when i was welding it it wasn't going on very good and um and i kept going and i didn't heat it up enough so what we did was is after i after we were working them and dunbar broke um, or knocked the head gate off i came through and i grinded the paint off and then i welded to it so i had something to really weld to and i could really heat up this metal and get it attached but i think it'll be uh it's pretty secure now and it'll be good to go so hopefully we don't run into that problem ever again <laughs> 